Hey there! In this command line basics video we're going to be looking at symbolic links uh, which are also referred to as sim links in the, the lingo of the cool kids uh, and basically what a symbolic link is is a shortcut so if you want to have um, you know uh, something in, in one folder that actually points off to some other files or folders that are located elsewhere on the machine that's essentially what a symbolic link is going to do for us so let's take a look and see how that actually works so I'm going to start off in my home directory here and just look at an existing uh, sim link so that we can just sort of see what that is uh, before we dive in. So I'm going to do an ls-al on my home directory so I get a detailed listing. And you'll see that um, xchat aqua uh, application I have has added a link in my home folder here. And uh, you'll notice it begins with an L for link as opposed to D for directory which uh, like down here you see that's a, a folder rather than a link. Um, this is the file name for what actually appears when I look at my files. And then this arrow is saying, hey, I'm actually pointing elsewhere. And then it has the full path to that other location. So this application is sticking stuff in the application support folder, but referring to it from my home directory. The use case that I want to look at uh, in this video actually has to do with websites um, and being able to let your web server know uh, that you know you want to serve up a site from another location rather than just the document root. So I'm going to go into my sites directory. So sites is my local host and these are all the different websites that I have installed on localhost and if I go into my browser here you'll see uh, here's localhost here's a list of all those websites. So this is my my localhost on my local machine here. Um, and what I want to do is is be able to put other refer to other websites um, from localhost uh, without necessarily having to put the code here. So I'm going to show you, I have um, for, for Do It With Drupal we have an SVN checkout of all the code for that and so it's in a totally different location than sites. Um, so I'm going to scroll through and actually get down to where the Drupal site is that I want to refer to here. Um, and then HTML all right. Now, uh, so this is the root of my Drupal site, and I want to be able to access this from localhost. I don't want to have to go to this whole path. So this is my present working directory, um, and so you know my web server's not serving me files from here. Um, so that's not very handy. Um, I want to get to it from localhost. So what I want is I want to get this entire path. I need to know this entire path so that I can basically point to this from my site's directory and kind of trick my web server. So I'm just going to do a control C and actually just copy this entire path so I don't have to type it in again later. Um, but all I need is the path so you can either type it in manually or copy and paste it however. I'm going back to my sites directory so this is where my websites are listed. The code for this particular website is in that completely different place. So I want to create a link to point to it. And the LN command is link so to create a link, it's just ln, but we need to add a few things after that. Um, we want to do a symbolic link. Uh, there's also something called a hard link, but we want to use symbolic links as a simple light pointer rather than copying, making full copies of things. And then I'm going to paste in that path where the code is that I actually want to use. So I'm doing a symbolic link here in sites directory, and I want it to point to the so my HTML folder that's all the way down there in my Lullabot directory. And that's pretty much it for creating a link, right? So it's just that. And then you'll notice so the name of my folder in the Lullabot site is HTML. When I do this command, it just creates a folder called HTML for me. It just takes the name of the folder that's already out there and just uses that. Now I don't really want that in my sites. That's HTML is pretty generic. What site is that? Now I could do move, which we've looked at in other videos, and change the name of it. But I want to show you another way you can do this from the link command. So I'm just going to remove the uh, HTML link here. Notice I don't have to do a dash R recursive. This HTML thing that's here is not a folder, it's not a directory, it's a link. So I can just remove it without having to recursively remove. I'm not removing the folder contents that exist over in the Lullabot folder. Okay, so that's gone now. Right, so I have uh, 
removed that, I'm hitting the up arrow to go back through my commands, uh, and I get back to this link command, so we'll review it. LN is for link, the dash S means symbolic, and then this is the path of the code I want to use, and now I can actually just type a different name in here. If I don't want to use that folder or file name, I can type my own custom one. So I'm going to type in dude, because that makes more sense to me. And now when I run the command, you'll see instead of HTML, I have a, a dude quote unquote folder, which is actually just a link. Uh, if we do a detailed listing here, you'll see this is actually a symbolic link and not a folder. It's just peering into a folder that exists elsewhere. But if I change directory into that folder, into that link, I can see everything just like it is in the other directory. And if I go back to my local host and reload, you'll see I have a link to Dude. And when I click on it, it takes me to the Drupal site using that code all the way over in the Lullabot directory. And now I can go ahead and install the site and do what I need to and still access everything from localhost. It's really handy. And that way I can keep my code organized where I want it, the way I want it, because um, I'm kind of particular about how I organize my directories. So for real quick review, link, we want the dash s for symbolic, we want the full path to what it is that the shortcut is pointing to, and then optionally at the end you could change the name of that shortcut, uh, but it's not required. The only thing that's really required is that path to what it's pointing to, right? So um, have fun with symlinks. Um, they're really, really handy, and I'll see you next time on Command Line.